Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. So in this session of chemistry, we shall discuss about gas loss. Are you ready? Shall we discuss? Yes. So moving on to gas loss. So we have seen there are three, uh, five types of matter that is solids, liquids, gases, plasma and Bose-Einstein condensate. So what are these gas loss? First we shall see what are the properties of a substance. First example, if I take water. Water exists as ice that is solid, liquid and water vapor that is steam or gas. So water can exist in three types of forms. So physical properties of ice, water, steam are different but chemical composition is same always which is H2O. Two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So physical properties are differing here but chemical properties are same here. So chemical properties do not change with the change in physical state we have already seen but rate of chemical reactions do depend on physical states. So rate of chemical reaction do depend on physical states. Individual molecule of water does not boil but the whole water boils. Okay, this is a difference. Moving on to types of forces. So there are two types of forces. One is intramolecular forces and next is intermolecular forces. What do you mean by intramolecular? Like we have intranet and internet. Okay, intranet means if I use uh, more than one source for net that is called intranet if i use outside my house that is called internet like we are using outside by everyone that is called internet so intramolecular force means these forces that holds atoms together within a molecule and they are very strong in nature okay and intramolecular forces are always weak and they are existing outside the molecules or between molecules two different molecules within a molecule is intramolecular force and between molecules is intermolecular force okay and it is weak in nature so you hope you can see and you are clear with the diagram okay between molecule within the molecule is intramolecular force of attraction and between the molecules is intermolecular attraction Next, what is gaseous state? So, gaseous state has some physical properties we shall see. Gaseous are, gases are very highly compressible than the liquids and gases, sorry, solids. Gases exit pressure equally in all directions and they have very much lower density than the solids and liquids. That's why they are easily compressible and the volume and the shape of gas are not fixed. We have already known this and they assume the volume and shape of the container. Gases mix evenly and completely in all proportions without any mechanical aid. Okay. Because they have very less density. Moving on, there are le only 11 elements in the periodic table which exist as gases in the normal conditions. Only in the normal conditions we have 11 elements which exist as the gases, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon. These are inert gases. Okay. And these are the normal gas. So 11 elements exist as gases in the normal conditions. Okay. So what are gas laws? So gas laws first for the properties of gases were measured by Anglo-Irish scientist called Robert Boyle in 1662. So he has given the famous Boyle's law. What does he say? He has given the relationship between pressure and volume. He says pressure is always inversely proportional to volume or volume is always inversely proportional to pressure at constant temperature and number of moles. Okay. As we apply pressure in an injection syringe, a very best example is when I am applying pressure in an injection syringe, the volume will decrease pressure is increasing i but volume is decreasing d okay hope you are clear with this so pressure is always inversely proportional to volume can i say p1 v1 is equals to p2 v2 okay you can solve the problems also pressure is always inversely proportional to volume at constant temperature moving on to the next gas law that is charles law so he has given the famous charles law uh, between temperature and volume. So volume is always directly proportional to temperature. Okay. So can I say V1 by T1 is equals to V2 by T2. So that means V1 T2 is equals to V2 T1 at constant pressure and number of moles that is N. So similar ex simple example is air expands when heating. 
so it occupies higher volume so when the temperature is increasing it occupies more volume and it becomes less dense and it will escape into the atmosphere that's why cigar smoke will escape outward rather than it is settling down okay the very best example that's why air will flow towards the low pressure region because it has higher temperature there so air will flow because high temperature means air will escape at that place it will become a low pressure so air will move from high pressure to low pressure so always volume is directly proportional to temperature as per charles law next is gay lussac's law this relationship given is between pressure and temperature so pressure is always directly proportional to temperature so p1 by t1 is equals to p2 by t2 p1 t2 is equals to p2 t1 okay on hot summer day pressure in a vehicle tire increases with temperature yes considerably and tire may burst if pressure is not adjusted properly so when temperature increases pressure will obviously increase as per gay lussac's law okay clear with this moving on to the next one that is avogadro's law the fourth one gives between the volume and amount relationship so volume is directly proportional to number of moles in a gas okay so what is this moles one mole is equals to 6.023 into 10 power 23 atoms or molecules in a any substance okay so as the number of moles increases volume will increase obviously yes next ideal gas equation when we take all the three laws together boyle's law charles law and avogadro's law we get the boy ideal gas equation okay pv is equals to nrt pressure into volume is equals to number of moles into r is called as the ideal gas constant here it is same for all the gases that's why it is called as universal gas constant and what is the value of r 8.314 joule per kelvin mole okay remember this pv is equal to nrt r is called the ideal gas constant and r is equals to 8.314 joule per kelvin mole it's the last one the dalton's law of partial pressures so what is this partial pressure so it was proposed by john dalton in 1801 he says that total pressure exerted by the mixture of non-reactive gases is equal to some of the partial pressures of individual gases in the proportion without any mechanical aid suppose if i mix all the gases so total pressure will be equal to the sum of the partial pressures of all the gases which are exerted okay p total is equals to p1 plus p2 plus p3 okay hope you are clear with this topic so hope you are clear with this topic called gas laws we shall meet in the next sessions thank you so much